Have you ever wondered how a modern navy transforms from being lightly equipped to fielding ships that can stand shoulder to shoulder with some of the most advanced warships in the region? What kind of vessel can patrol vast waters, safeguard trade routes, and defend a nation's sovereignty while also serving as a symbol of progress and modernization? Today we're diving deep into the BRP Miguel Malvar FFG-06, one of the Philippine Navy's newest guided missile frigates, and a ship that marks a significant milestone in the country's long journey toward building a stronger, more capable maritime force. This is not just another ship, it is a statement of intent, a carefully crafted blend of modern technology, strategic design, and national pride. The BRP Miguel Malvar belongs to the Jose Rizal class frigates, which represent the Philippine Navy's first step into the era of true multi-role, missile-capable surface combatants. For years, the Navy had relied on second-hand ships, many of which were decades old and technologically behind their regional counterparts. But with the commissioning of the Jose Rizal class, including the Miguel Malvar, the Philippines now has vessels that can not only patrol and monitor but also project credible deterrence across its waters. The ship is built by Hyundai Heavy Industries of South Korea, a shipbuilder known globally for producing advanced naval vessels, ensuring that the design incorporates both proven technology and modern combat features. At first glance, the Miguel Malvar shows its contemporary design through clean lines, angular shapes, and radar-reducing surfaces, making it far more stealthy compared to older ships. This gives it a significant edge in avoiding early detection, an essential feature in modern naval warfare. Performance-wise, the ship is built around a CODAD propulsion system, which stands for combined diesel and diesel. This setup uses two pairs of diesel engines to deliver both speed and efficiency. It can sprint up to around 25 knots when necessary, but more importantly, it can cruise for thousands of nautical miles without needing to refuel. With a range of over 4,500 nautical miles, the Miguel Malvar is capable of patrolling the sprawling Philippine archipelago and even participating in long-duration missions abroad. This balance of endurance and agility makes it versatile for everything from territorial patrols to humanitarian assistance missions. After all, a modern navy is not just about warfighting, it's also about presence, diplomacy, and being able to assist in times of crisis. Where the Miguel Malvar truly shines is in its combat systems. As a guided missile frigate, it is equipped with advanced sensors, radars, and weapon systems designed to track and engage threats both above and below the surface. It has a 76mm main naval gun capable of rapid fire against surface and air targets, supplemented by secondary guns for close in defense. The ship is also armed with anti-ship missiles, allowing it to strike at enemy vessels well beyond visual range, something the Philippine Navy never had in its fleet before this class. Add to that the presence of surface-to-air missile systems, and suddenly the Navy has the ability to defend not just against ships but also against aerial threats. Beneath the waves, the frigate carries torpedoes and sonar systems to detect and counter submarines, giving it true multi-dimensional combat capability. Of course, advanced weaponry means little without equally sophisticated electronics, and that's where the ship's combat management system comes in. The Miguel Malvar integrates all of its sensors and weapons into a unified control platform, allowing commanders to quickly make decisions, coordinate responses, and manage multiple threats. Simultaneously, its radars can track dozens of targets at once, while its electronic warfare systems can jam or deceive enemy sensors. These features bring the Philippine Navy much closer to the standards of its regional neighbors, ensuring it can operate not only independently but also side by side with allied navies in joint operations. The design of the ship also considers versatility beyond combat. A helicopter deck and hangar allow it to embark naval helicopters, which are crucial for extending its reach. Whether for anti-submarine missions, search and rescue, or maritime surveillance, the ability to launch and recover a helicopter adds a whole new dimension to the frigate's capability. The hangar is designed to handle medium naval helicopters like the A-159 Wildcat, which the Philippine Navy already operates. This airborne extension means the Miguel Malvar is not just limited to what its sensors can see on the horizon, it can project its awareness hundreds of kilometers further through aerial assets. Inside the ship, design choices focus on both functionality and crew comfort. Unlike the aging vessels the Philippine Navy once operated, this frigate was built with modern standards in mind. Better living quarters, 
climate control, and workspaces ensure that sailors can endure long missions without the same fatigue or discomfort that older ships often inflicted. Crew efficiency is also boosted by automation, as many functions of the ship are computerized, reducing manpower requirements while improving operational response times. What makes the BRP Miguel Malvar particularly significant is not just its individual features but what it represents in the bigger picture. For decades, the Philippines struggled to modernize its navy, relying heavily on donations and surplus ships from other countries. But the Miguel Malvar, like its sister ships, is part of a deliberate push toward self-reliance and capability growth. It signals that the Philippine Navy is ready to step into modern maritime defense, not just as a coastal force but as a regional player capable of joining multinational exercises, contributing to peacekeeping, and standing its ground in contested waters. So what does this all mean for the future? It means that the Philippine Navy now has the ability to patrol its exclusive economic zone with far more confidence. It can defend sea lanes that are vital for trade and energy. It can deter potential aggressors by showing it has the tools to fight back. And beyond defense, it can take part in humanitarian missions, international security operations, and joint patrols with allies. The Miguel Malvar is not just a ship, it is a platform of opportunity, a training ground for future generations of sailors, and a symbol of the Philippines' growing commitment to securing its maritime interests.